Hello fellow KeyCatters, I'm Reed with DigiKey Electronics, and in this video series I'll be talking you through the changes and new features of KeyCAD 5.0. Let's get started. In this video I'll be covering the SPICE simulator that's built into EE Schema. This is a full featured simulator based on NG SPICE that works natively with schematics drawn in EE Schema. SPICE symbols such as this V source can be added to the schematic using the default pSPICE library. SPICE models for the individual symbols can be added or modified from the symbol properties window. Models are assigned by selecting the library file where the model resides, the desired model from that file, and the model type. Passive models are assigned by setting the passive type and the desired value. Source models are assigned by setting the desired parameters and what source type it is. Once the SPICE models have been assigned, the simulation can be run. Prior to running the simulation though, some settings must be entered. I have entered parameters into the transients tab ahead of time and check the adjust passives box to ensure all passive values are interpreted correctly. Then the simulation can be run. Signals can be added from the add signals window and can be removed by double clicking on them. They can also be added with the probe tool which allows you to probe your schematic. Cursors can be viewed by right clicking on the signal and clicking on show cursor. They can also be hidden by using the same method. Cursors can be moved along the time axis by clicking and dragging. The current value of a cursor is displayed to the right. Passive values can be tweaked by using the Tune tool. The passive to be tuned is selected from the schematic. A new value can be selected by adjusting the slider or entering a new value in the box. This can be saved to the simulation by clicking on the save button. And that wraps up the preview of the SPICE simulator built into EE Schema. Tune into the next video on the Symbol Library Editor and thanks for watching.